All right, so let's look at question 16. This is a little bit of a different type of a problem because they haven't, um, they're giving you a different property here to look at. So we have two spheres which have the same density and they have a ratio of four to nine in surface area. If the small sphere weighs 10 kilograms, what does the, what does the larger sphere weigh or the second sphere weigh? So for us to, to work to, to calculate this we have to step back and take a look at what we're trying to figure out here how do we go and figure out mass of an object if we were given surface area and the key thing here they're telling us is that density is the same so if we just go on the side here a little bit um, there's a formula for density for an object case okay? so density is equal to mass divided by volume Okay, so now we're seeing the word volume come into play here. And if we wanted to sort of rearrange this, we can say that volume times density okay, is equal to mass. Okay, and then this means that mathematically volume is proportional to mass. Okay, it's proportional by the factor of density. And the spheres have the same density. So then what we could say is that if we could figure out the, the value of volume, we would be able to figure out the value for the mass of an object because it would be proportional and it would be the same. So what are we given here? We have a ratio of four to nine in surface area. Okay, so we have um, surface area for sphere one. Okay, it's gonna be four and the surface area for sphere two is equal to nine. Okay, so we need to think back. How are we going to go from surface area to volume? Okay, we can't go to it directly, but we can go through it through the radius of the object. So we would know the radius, okay, of sphere one, and the radius of sphere two is going to be just equal to the square root of the area. So it's going to be the square root of four over nine, which is equal to two over three. Okay, so we've seen this question before. Now that if we have the radius, we should be able to calculate volume, sphere one to sphere two. Okay, because we know volume is the cube of the radius. So it's gonna be two thirds and we're gonna cube that. And then we're going to say that it is equal to um, two cubed, which is eight and three cubed, which is uh, 3 times 3, which is 9, times 3, which is 27. So the volume is 8 to 27. Okay, so that's the volume of the small sphere is going to be 8 or sphere, and then sphere 2 is going to be 27. Now, we also know from our density sort of explanation here on the side that if we know volume, we know it's proportional to the mass. So we can take our ratio here of 8 over 27, which is our volume ratio, and make that equal to 10 kilograms over x. Because at 10 kilograms is the small sphere, and we want to know how big would the large sphere be. Okay, so that will give us how many um, kilograms that we're looking for here, and I don't think that's what it's asking. So we can just cross multiply to solve for x, so it's going to be 8 times x is 8x, and 10 times 27 is 270 and then divide by 8. Just get a value here, 270 divided by 8, which is going to be 33.75, and then our units here is kilograms. So that's how you would end up calculating the mass of the object. Okay, so you have to do, you have to know a couple of things. You have to know that <clears throat> the density value is proportion makes mass and volume proportional to each other and because they're the same we know they're going to be proportional by the same factor so if we could calculate the ratio for volume we can make that equal to a proportion for mass and then end up solving for that okay so this is a bit of a trickier question um, so it's something that you want to review to make sure that you know how to do mass when if you're given any kind of a measurement and you're having to convert between those two okay so this is the reasoning that takes you through those steps